Shalom, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akyam who are pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? So, today, uh, you know, I've been, the spirits had me in uh, the book of Acts. I'm trying to get better with that book on understanding and whatnot. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start in Acts 17 and 1. <coughs> and this is um, Paul in Thessalonica, all right, who those people would have been called <coughs> the Thessalonians. It says, verse 1, Now when they had passed through Amphipolis, that, that reminds me just reading it because these are Greek names, right? This reminds me of that homosexual governor, uh, Jared Polis, you know. Um, I believe that means city. So Polis means city. It's like metropolis. That means the center city, you know. But anyway, through the spirit, that just brought that to remembrance or that to mind. Let me start over. Now when they had passed through Amphipolis, in Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. And this is just like us, you know, in these modern days. You know, we're out there bringing out the truth on the streets, and we're, we're reasoning with them out of the scriptures with these people. They're usually going off of their own opinions or their, you know, what they've been taught. You know, they've been taught nothing but lies and blasphemy by the, uh, the damn devil, the Edomite, you know. But um, this is what we do, man. We reason with the scriptures, not by our own vain opinion or by what some man taught us, you know. No, we go with the holy scriptures, just like our, uh, our brother Paul did, all right? Verse 3. Opening and alleging that Yahweh must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Yahweh whom I preach unto you is Yahweh the Anointed. And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks a great multitude, and of the chief women not a few. All right, so basically none of the women could receive this truth as far as Yahweh Shai being the, the Hamashiach, me being the anointed one. But there were some Greeks, and which was a multitude, that, uh, that were able to receive this truth, you know. And when we read the word Greek, it's not talking about like an Edomite. It's talking about the uh, Israelites who were brought up in captivity of Greece, raised as Greeks. You see, just like me, I'm a, I'm considered an American, but am I really an Ameri really an American? No, I'm I'm an Israelite. All right, but they're being referred to as Greeks, and now we're being referred to as Americans. You know, they've been referred to as Romans. Greeks, you know, the Israelites have been scattered in all nations, so we, we're called all kind of different things. Matter of fact, I always bring it up. There's a basketball player named Giannis Antetokounmpo, and he's actually a, an Israelite, but what, they, what is his nickname is the Greek Freak. And why is that? Because he was, he, he was born in Greece. He's from Greece. Okay, so anyway, verse 5. But the Jews which believed not moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd followers of the baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, and assaulted the house of Jason, and sought to bring them out to the people. See, so this is what these two-thirds do, man. And remember, it says Jews right here, and why is that? Because those were the, the Judites, who were, you know what I'm saying, they were 
And, and really it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Those three tribes are can all considered Jews, right? It's a, it's a collectively, the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi are the Jews, right? Um, but basically, the, you had these Israelites who didn't believe the truth. They were two thirds, right? They didn't believe that like we read in verse five. They want to, you know, like in this case, they want to assault the house of Jason and bring them out to the people. Just like the first one that comes to mind is uh, is the scoffers on the streets that when they come and scoff, they always want to, you know, bring the passers-by into the conversation and try to try to get them against the men of the Lord. You know, they, they try to say, oh, hey, look at these guys. They're, they're, they're preaching hate. They're trying to start a race war, you know. And in all actuality, no, it's not us starting a race war. If a race war breaks out, it's going to be because Yahweh Bashim Shai started that race war. All right? You got to remember that. Verse 6. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, These that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. So it's just like we always say, nothing new under the sun, man. You got people that are going to come against this truth and they're going to tell us that we're turning the world upside down or we're, we're speaking blasphemy, you know? It was the same thing that happened, was happening to the brethren in, uh, during the time of Greek, Greece and Rome. Let's get to verse 7. Whom Jason has received, and these all do the contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying that there is another king, one Yahweh Shai. See? So that's what they'll do. They're gonna pretty soon they're gonna be like, hey, these dudes don't want to take the, the vaccination, they don't want to take the microchip. You know, these are decrees of Babylon America right now, the decrees of you could say Joe Biden right now. Back then it was Caesar, right? So the people will speak against them. You know, hey, these guys ain't doing the laws. They, they're not following the laws. They're not following the decrees of Caesar. In the same fashion, the men of the Lord, we're not going to follow the decrees of uh, Babylon. Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe Biden, all right? Creepy Joe Biden, whatever you want to call him, all right? So you got to remember, the, the Lord... He always brings back his prophets and his remnant. Salakia, let me see what happened. what's going on here. He, you know, he always brings back back his men, his remnant, in all ages, in all times. So here we are now. And we're still the same spirit, man. We're not gonna take, we're not gonna follow the decrees of Babylon. Verse 8. And they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. And when they had taken security of Jason and of the other, they let them go. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. All right, so back in, back in those times, see, we wouldn't do this now, but back in the in the times of the Greeks, you know, the, the brothers, the brethren would go into the synagogues and, and, and you know, challenge this, the, their uh, Sadducees and Pharisees and the Jews according to the scriptures, you know. That's what we do, but we do it on the street. We, we ain't going to no damn synagogue over here in Babylon, you know. We're not going to go into the Catholic Church and challenge you, you know. We're not going to go to your Christian, modern Christianity churches and... and uh, you know, confound you. No, that's, that's not our lot. We just got to go out in the streets and teach. You know? Especially if you do that, you got to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. So it wouldn't be wise to go walk into a Catholic church and start, you know, spewing out the true doctrine, you know? It's just going to get us arrested, you know? Verse 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica and that they received the word with all readiness of mind. I saw these people in Berea, this other town, 
they were more noble than the ones in Thessalonica because because why they they were more willing to receive the the word with all readiness of mind and that's how you're supposed to be man this this is a good example of how you're supposed to receive the truth you don't you don't want to ask a thousand questions challenging the truth or doubting the truth no you got to be with all readiness of mind let's read it again in that they receive the word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so see so that's what you're supposed to do man if we go out and teach don't just take our word for it man go go grab your bible and see what it says see if we're saying what the bible says you know see if we're going off I challenge you, you know? The men of the Lord, starting out with our elders of GMS, we coming straight out the scriptures, man. We're not coming on our own vain opinions, all right? Because our opinions don't mean shit. And if a brother does teach off his own opinion, that brother is going to get rebuked with a, with a quickness, whether it's in our camp or any camp for that matter, you know? Verse 12. Therefore... Many of them believed, also of honorable women which were Greeks, and of men, not a few. So in this case, you had more women who were believing the truth. And these women were Greek women, which, again, they were Israelite women who were brought up in the customs of the Greeks. Verse 13. But when the Jews of Thessalonica had, had knowledge, that the word of Yahweh was preached of Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. <coughs> See, so that's how these fucking two-thirds are, man. They're going to follow you from camp to camp. Like Mocap Malone, what did he do? He, he popped in on the elders, you know, in New York. He popped in on uh, other camps of GMS. Unannounced, you know. Like a little weasel that he is, you know, just popping in on people. You don't want to schedule a day to come speak with the elders. No, he's just going to pop in on you. You know, which is fucking rude, you know. Even your own family, man, they, they pop into your house. And you, you, you may not want to be seeing them, you know. You, that's rude, you just pop in on people. And that's what these fucking Jews were doing in Thessalonica, you know. So that, that's what they was doing, you know, just popping in. Oh, it's lucky. So, you know, the point is, is these, these motherfuckers were doing the same thing they're doing now. And it's those same spirits that are regenerated, reincarnated. And now here they are in Babylon, America, and popping up on the, the truth, popping up on the men of the Lord, trying to stir the people up, you know, against us. Verse 14. And then, immediately, the brethren sent away Paul to go as it were to the sea, but Silas and Tim Timotheus abode there still. And they that conducted Paul brought him unto Athens, and receiving, receiving a commandment unto Silas and Timotheus, for to come to him with all speed, they departed. All right, so the brother Paul dipped out, you know, and said, hey, Paul, or I'm sorry, Silas and Timotheus, you know, come over here too. You know, come join the camp with me over here. When he left, Paul left. Because why? You had these two thirds literally chasing him from town to town, trying, trying to uh, stir the people up against us. Just like fucking Vocab Malone does. Just like uh, our, we got our uh, vocab 2.0, which is uh, Juanito, the two-third, who comes to our camp all the time. And, you know, he, he, if he could find out we were in a different city teaching, you know, he'd be showing up there too. So, like we always say, man, nothing new under the sun. Let's get it real quick. But these, these heathen always going to be trying to come against this truth. They're always going to be um, 
you know what I'm saying? They're always going to be trying to stir the people up against us. Because ultimately, when the, the microchip and the, uh, and the uh, which is the mark of the beast, and the, uh, the vaccination, when the vaccination is made mandatory, this, these people are going to be stirred, stirring up against us because they know we're not going to take those things. You see? We're coming up in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, contrary to Jesus Christ with the majority of the world. That's the spirit they're coming in. So, you know, they're, they're going to come in and, and try to hinder the building of this uh, tabernacle, the building of this church, the building of the house of David, which is the church of the nation of Israel, who are the men, who are the prophets teaching and, and our goal is to seal the elect, all right? So with that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Kodash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Nisan for teaching me this truth. Also, one of God's other Akiyam for pushing this truth with sincerity, all right? Shalom to the elect.